guys and welcome to Two Point Hospital. This is basically Theme Hospital 2.0. Basically. Because some of the same people that made that game have come over to this game and it's very, very exciting. I played the game a little bit already at a preview event and absolutely loved it. It's perfect in every way. I loved it a lot. Um, so if you guys do want to see more videos on this game, let me know. Leave a like on the video. Leave your comments below. This will be like a test uh, like first part. Because my preview didn't do that well it, it didn't do that well so this is more of like a tester for now um i would love to do more i'm gonna play out there um also i've got a code all you gotta do to win a copy of the game to win a code for steam is leave a like and a comment the game is currently only out on pc it may come out on consoles at some point I'm not gonna say any more than that um but yeah look out for news about that but for now pc only let's jump in to two point hospital at Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. So guys, this is the map, and this is the first hospital you can do in the game. There is more in the distance. There's many, many more. We're different conditions. Uh, there might be a, a hospital next to a nuclear power plant. Um, some hot weather, some cold weather. Different conditions completely. It gets more and more difficult as you progress. So let's jump into Hogspot. Right, first of all, we've got to move around. Move the camera. A little bit of like a tutorial to get into the game. Uh, build a reception desk from the item menu. So this is where the assistant will go. The assistants work on the shops and the reception desk. So give it a little bit of space between the desk and the door. That I believe is centered. Boom. Now it's time to hire our first ever staff member. Godfully, with customer service, I'm down for that. Only one star. Eventually you can have a whole hospital of five star staff. But that's more for later in the future. He's um, a bit hangry and a bit nasty. Lovely. What a great guy. He's been hired. Uh, what next? Patients have been reminded not to have dark thoughts. That's easier said than done. Uh, so this room has to be three by three. But you can make it as big as you want. This is the GP office. A very very important room so the patient will go to the reception desk and get instantly referred to the gp office i made this slightly bigger um i'm gonna put it like that bit of like a weird shape room but i can always change it later on so certain rooms need certain items so for example this room needs an office desk and a filing cabinet I'm going to add some windows. And you might see at the top there, in the middle, the room prestige is going up with every item I add. Also, certain items will add more prestige and so on. Done. Now we've got to hire a doctor, I'm guessing. Yep. So we want one that's uh, good at being a GP. So that is this person. Drop. So this person has general practice knowledge, so I can diagnose um, people better, basically, with a plus 15% bonus. So I'm going to hire you. There we go. Done. The hospital is now officially open for patients. I know, it's kind of scary. Um, yet you can rotate around, you can pitch. There's many options. Zoom in, in and out, as much as you want. Where's our first patient? What we should get though, let's go to items and benches. Because there's a lot of waiting around in hospitals. You guys know this, if you've been to hospital before or a GP, you gotta wait. It sucks, but you gotta do it. Here's our first patient. 
I wonder what's wrong with you. Apart from your... Oh, shoot. That, that's an issue. Send him to the diagnostic room. <laughs> so the the base illnesses will be quite easy. Um, he's got, yeah, glout. Which I'm guessing is some sort of... Sort of stomach, basically. Uh, can be transmitted in bathrooms. And modern medication is effective. Alright. Unlike earlier times... When it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. What? Are you kidding me? But right, now we need to get a new room. Which is the pharmacy. So, as you guys know, sometimes you got to medicate these illnesses. And you got to um, use drugs. So you put a drug mixer down. Uh, and for this to actually function as a room, you do need a nurse. Uh, again, this is not... You don't actually need a fighting cabinet, but I'm just going to improve the prestige a little bit. So the patients feel a little bit more comfortable. And that's that's great. Um, <laughs> we now got a hire. I'm guessing we now need a nurse. Yes. See so over there, we have objectives to do. It'll tell us what we need to do at certain points. Uh, I would like a nurse. Uh, that has pharmacy management skills. So Lily is perfect. There we go. Time to mix those drugs. Hell yeah. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, uh, this goes well. Yeah, 100% chance that this will cure the illness. Done. $5,000. Well worth it. Oh yes. Our first patient has been cured. Yay! <laughs> you wouldn't want that, would you? If you said going to hospital. Yay! First patient cured. Great. That fills me with no confidence. So I've just hired Jess as our new janitor. She's not particularly great, but it's, she's cheap. All right, it's fine. All she'll do is just cling. It, it should be okay. Uh, we've now hired Jess as an intern janitor. She's on quite a low pay. But if she works well, we can improve her pay. She might become a five-star janitor. She may do. So our basic jobs for now are just cleaning, um, watering the plants, and also eventually she might be able to get rid of ghosts. Yes, it's true. It's very true. Well, it's asking us to place down two extinguishers. So one next to the drug machine makes sense because it can set a light. Yeah, I know, kind of scary. And let's put one near like the front door. Just in case. You never know. Done. Uh, janitors will be recalled. Janitors will be called to repair machines when its maintained levels go below 50%. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Uh, entertainment, food and drink. Okay. I got it. So, weirdly, I don't know why, but leaflet stands help with boredom. I know it makes no sense. It's very odd. Uh, a drink machine. Uh, obviously need bins as well, because unfortunately these machines cause mess. Because humans are messy people. Messy mammals. Just, it's just how it is. Right, is that done? We have no objectives. I guess that's a good sign. I can rotate items. Yes, yes, yes. I know what I'm doing. What's that person doing? <laughs> Staff energy and breaks. So you can manage how long their breaks are. Um, I think we might need, yes, a staff room. I'm going to stick this over here, sort of out the way. Not too big for now. Just a small little staff room to keep them busy. Uh, put a locker in there? Yeah. A couple of lockers so they can store their stuff and it won't get nicked. Done! Staff room completed. Good news, you've cured five patients. Hell yeah. So, staff get tired if, if it's a long day. They get knackered. They need someone to have a break. So they go in there, have a sit down. They'll be great. They'll be chilled. Toilets unlocked. So I need to place down two bins and a toilet. So I put one bin over here. I'm going to put another bin... Where would be a good place? I reckon like here-ish. No. Mm, here. Done. So that'd be it. 
So it lost. <laughs> nope, that's fine. <laughs> that will do. That will do. And now we need toilets, which actually counts as a room, I believe. Yes. Uh, next to the staff room. I know that's a bit disgusting. Um, also, with toilets, you can lock them to staff only, patients only. Uh, you can make it unisex or certain sex. It's up to you. It's There's loads of options. I'll go for unisex for now. A nice sort of small toilet. We don't really have much money, so don't want to like push it too much. I would love another sink. Or not. I'll put it there. Why not? Right, just by the door? That makes sense. Don't really want any windows, because that's a bit weird. So I'm going to leave that. Ah, kudos. So this is basically where we unlock new items, which is uh, quite cool. We're going to pause the game briefly. Uh, we'll go to items. We go down to here. We can unlock the purple benches, the silver benches, the big bins, a uh, small aircon unit. Um, currently, we're not... We're doing all right with, with, on that front. This is a pretty like stable temperature. It's the first hospital, so it's pretty easy. Um, I would like more entertainment. So I reckon a magazine rack. I know it sounds a bit boring, but I think it's a good a good idea. Keep the patients happy. So a magazine rack near the entrance. Done. So that's our first item unlocked. As you can tell there, um, Kudos is gone. It's disappeared. So we have a new illness. Oh no. So Champs is basically, a, it affects selfie taking. I know. It's a terrible, terrible situation. People can't take selfies. I don't know why this is. I've got no idea. It's kind of crazy. So our junior, sorry, our student doctor is now a junior doctor. So one training slot. Training is for later on in the game. It's another aspect of the game. Uh, movement speed has increased. Um, diagnosed skills has gone up by 10% and treatment by 10%. So generally the doctor is now, Jock is just a much better doctor. So yeah, promote. Enjoy your promotion. So we've got two, two illnesses, a promoted doctor. Things are going pretty well. Fairly good, I'm happy. Uh, general diagnosis. So I believe we need a doctor for this. Uh, sorry, a nurse. It's a new room. A very expensive room. Uh, I'm gonna put this. Ooh, where do I put it? I'll put it next to the um, pharmacy. Yeah, that's a good shot. You don't have to do all the rooms square, um, but as this is like my first hospital, I'm trying to make it fairly basic for now. Um, so needs to have a, what is that? An easy scanner and examination table. So that's the basics. Um, again, you can have more like bins and plants and stuff like that. And there we go. Um, I would like some more benches. I know it's boring, but somewhere, they've got to sit somewhere. They're ill. They're not feeling great. Last thing we do is stand. It's just not fun. I might hire another nurse. Yeah, I think I might. Nurse. Aha! Dennis is good at diagnosing. So, that will be your job. If we go back to that cancer menu. So, what we're going to do is go to the cancer menu, staff, and we're going to select their jobs. So, I want. Lily to stay in the pharmacy and I want Dennis to stay in the diagnostic room which is here so now I've got to cure two patients and then we unlock the ward so this is like very basic at the moment it's not too busy it's um you can contain it <laughs> do you know what I mean it's not you don't panic just yet believe me it will pick up in a minute I, I promise you that I promise you that Oh, yes, I do. He looks happy. Thumbs up. His energy's a little bit low. Probably do a arrest anytime soon. Is that... What was that that just collapsed? What was he doing? I don't know what he was doing. I've got no idea. Where is my assistant? Ugh. Getting a bit of a queue. 
three whole people. If you hover over the room, it will tell you how many people are waiting. So say the GP office is getting a little bit busy. Um, you can obviously add more doctors in or more GP offices. It's all, sort of, yeah. It's a good way to sort of keep a handle of the situation. He does not look energetic, does he? Oh, really? Are you kidding me? I don't really have much option. Otherwise, they start to get a little bit fussy and they want to complain. So, fine. I will promote you. Marketing skill has gone up by 20%. Uh, movement, thank God, because he's slow as hell. And one training slot. Again, that's for later on. Right, so she's going to wait for the doctor at the GP office. Uh, already, you can tell two patients want to visit him. Like, right away. What is he doing? He's doing goddamn night fever. Take a seat I think he's going to... He's going to go and have a rest. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Get to work. Uh, we'd like most of these games. You can fast forward as well. So if you want to speed up a little bit, you can. Doctor. Someone just put a call out for you. Patients need you. All right, okay, fine. We're going to add another GP office. It's going to happen. Yep, it's going to happen already. I didn't expect it this early, but it needs to be done. I'm going to put a little block there. I like just making it... Not every room has to be square. Which I like. So I'm going to put the door here. Can I do that? I can. Uh, an office desk. Uh, yeah, that's right. So the doctor sits there, patient sits there. Filing cabinet and a plant. Very nice. Then we're going to hire another wee doctor. Pretty please. So again, I want just general practice. Yep. Ava, you've been hired. Well, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Back to normal speed. Oh, yes. We have... We have the ward unlocked. Hell a year. All right, so let's do that right now. So I reckon we're probably going to need it pretty quite soon. Uh, annoyingly, though, walls have to be quite big. I know it's annoying, but it's true. So I can make it quite sizable. Yeah, about that sort of size. Uh, so... You need a big door. Even the doors are big. Like, they're massive. And then we need some beds. Plenty of beds. Yeah. Perfect. Not too many. Well, I'll say that. I'm doing quite a few, actually. Uh, a screen so they can get changed. So when they come in. And then a nice little nurse station. Just by the door. Uh, I think that will do. Perhaps some... Um, is it hygienic to have plants in here? Yeah, screw it. <laughs> you got plants anyway. There we go. We have a ward! Yes! So the hospital is now level 4. And reputation is pretty good. Kudos has gone up to 20. Because we're doing objectives. And we're trying to earn... 15,000, basically. To unlock the, uh, unlock the Deluxe Clinic... Which is basically, um, eventually we get patients which come in with actual light bulbs as heads. I know it's it's a tiny bit weird, but it, it happens. Believe me, I've seen it. <laughs> it's horrific. Oh, misery guts. Chronic grumpiness. I've met some people like that. Yeah. <laughs> that, isn't that more of, no, it's a pharmacy treatment. I would figure that'd be more of like a psychology sort of thing, but nope. It can be cured. It can be cured. Magical. Love it. So what have you got? Clamp. What have you got? Clamp again. I think we're going to scroll through all the patients. Do we have that patient? Ah, misery guts. So misery guts is slightly harder to cure. Um, ideally... Um, I would like to... Staff skills just gone up there, interestingly. wonder why that is. I don't know. I wonder if this could be our first person to ever die. Bogwaltz is another disease. We're getting many different illnesses right now. It's starting to get harder already. 
Ah, we need a new nurse, I think. Right, let's pause the game again. Let's hire a nurse. We should have... I don't think we do, that's annoying. There's like a skill, a qualification in ward management, and I don't have one. Hmm. That kind of sucks. I think it might have to be Bob for now. Young high Bob. There you go, Bob. That's your job. Thank you, Bob. You're a good man. You're a very good man. So we've got a nice little lowdown of all of our patients. So if we want to find, for example, the Misery Guts guy or the Bog Wards guy. Or the girl, sorry. Amy, 80% chance. Again, that could go wrong. She's currently in the toilet. Don't know if that's the illness. Honestly, I, I don't know. Continue to, exp continue to expand to acquire a one-star rating. The max star for this hospital is free. And you can keep going. You can keep building it, making it bigger. The thing with this hospital is actually quite small. Being the first one, you can't actually expand it either. So, yeah, eventually you can sort of zoom out and you can sort of buy a playground <laughs> and just demolish it. You feel bad, but that will come later on. Uh, right, I'm going to track... Where are you going? Pharmacy. So what you can do, if you want to, you can make her skip the queue. So she's now in front. If you want to do that, that's up to you. So I think she was about to go in. And she's like, oh. <laughs> nope. Not going to happen. Oh, someone else has misery guts. Cheerful. Oh, someone's got bed face. This is actually quite hard to um, sort out. It's basically um, caused by sleeping at a weird angle. So we got to so use a bed protector to monitor your sleeping angles. So their face is like a bit wonky. I feel bad. I've had that before. It hurts. Do you ever got that when you sort of wake up and you'll be like leaning on your face? You got like the duvet prints on your, on your... Yeah. It's not pleasant. So I've got to cure lightheadedness three times. So that does mean we need, if we go to room, we need a deluxe clinic. Okay then. What was that? Oh, it's football. <laughs> Very professional, Scott. Very professional. So what I can do is just expand it into there. So this is the device which pulls a light bulb out of someone's head and then puts their old head back on. It's kind of weird. Uh, so this is the Deluxe Olaxi. Uh, all right, let's put that sort of in the middle-ish. Sort of in the middle. And there is a console to actually use it. And then with the door. This is gonna be um, a little bit scary. I don't really like that plant, actually. Delete that plant. I don't want it. No, the plant. The thing behind it. There we go. Uh, just move it somewhere else. There we go. It is done. That is one expensive room. Very expensive. So ideally, I believe we need a doctor for treatment. I'm probably being quite aggressive with the, um, like the hiring of staff. You can be very safe. I'm just going full, full on. Full on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's put... Have you already been diagnosed? Yes? Okay. Um, this should be interesting. So I've hired a pretty good staff member. I've tried my best. Let's put some benches outside. It's already happening. Let's so going to unscrew his head. Her head, sorry. Regenerate the head. Don't know how. Uh, this is very risky, by the way. This goes wrong a lot for me. Did it work? Oh, she's dead. She still paid the money. She still paid the money and then she died. Oh, why is lightheadedness so hard to cure? It's so tricky. And we got the next victim going in. <laughs> and that's our first death. That's horrible. 88% chance and she still died. I feel really bad. I feel really bad. Yeah. I feel really bad. I'm really sorry. I tried my best. Oh, please work. 
please. So once this is done, we can see obviously one out of three, if it works. There's his head. Please. Yes! One out of three. We're doing well. I say that. It could be going slightly better. <laughs> so you good to go? You going home? Yep. Cured. Sammy is walking out of here. A happy bunny. He's had a good day. Came in here with a light bulb as a head. Left with his normal head. What more could you possibly want? Perfect. So now we've got to sort of wait for two more patients. Obviously, the, 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 it's still functioning, which is great. Is there a nurse in there? Oh, I was going to say. Just jumping in there by yourself, having a lie down. So yeah, he's not being diagnosed yet. Basically, you want to get the, the right illness. If the wrong il illness is, um, is given to the patient, obviously, it's not going to work, is it? It's something's going to go wrong. Um, and he won't be happy, so you might just go home. You may make him even more ill. Apparently he's bored, so he's been diagnosed. Going back to the DP to actually tell him what his issue actually is. It's going back. It's going back to the big doctor man. So what is it? What's wrong with me? Please tell me. He's got to go, got to, go to the ward. He's got bed face. He's got a wonky face. Maintenance announcement. Yeah, in that oh, picture, his face water. looks more flat. He's like lying down. <laughs> He's gonna walk into here, see the nurse. Hello, nurse. Can you please help me? Please. Right, now we have a ward management. Ooh, tempting. Yeah, I might hire you, actually. Again, I've been very aggressive with um, hiring staff. You don't have to do this. It's completely up to you. I'm probably gonna have to sack some people at some point. Uh, job list. Um, you're... I don't know what to do here. I think Bob can be just... Yeah, just diagnose. I might even sack Bob, to be honest. I might do. I don't know. Doctor, I need two GP doctors. And yes, don't work in the deluxe. I need Ace. Ace is really good with treatment. That's why he's doing a pretty good job. Oh, this could be the second patient. 86%. Cured! Yes! There we go. Reputation is good. Sorry, I get a bit excited there. <laughs> it's good we're curing the people of this fine land. It's basically like a sort of um, English suburb or town. Which is quite nice. Oh no. What happened to you? Bedface. I told you bedface was tricky. I told you. Right, I think I'm going to sack Bob. Sorry, Bob. You're sacked, mate. You're gone. You're fired. I don't need you right now. He's just like walking around doing nothing. So I've sacked him. Uh, I've now cured. Oh no! It's our first ghost! Oh no. We don't actually have a janitor which has to get rid of those ghosts. Oh no. There's like a qualification for it. I don't. I can't even hire one. Like, no, wait a sec. No, I can't. Great. Just going to scare the patients, scare the staff. Imagine going to a hospital and seeing that. It doesn't help, does it? Uh, we now have Lily, who's gone from a nurse to a senior nurse. One training slot, 10% movement, um, diagnosis skills, 10%, and treatment, 10%. All gone up. Well done, Lily. And even that weird goo around as well. Don't go in the ward, please. Okay, I think it's gone now. No, it's back again. <laughs> the patient has expired. Oh, a patient has expired. Yes, that is, that is true. Right, we're waiting for one more lightheadedness patient. Aha! And look who's just turned up in time. Perfect. Very good. What's wrong with you? Bit of glut. Doctor required a Yeah, see the uh, janitors now clean up the uh, ectoplasm. Not pleasant stuff. Like Ghostbusters. That still here. I believe it does eventually go, but it just takes a little bit of time. Annoyingly, I can't hire any new janitors who have that qualification. Scared of ghost. I mean, that's that's understandable. I get it. I do get it. I'm really sorry. That's all, that's all I can say. There's not more I can say. 
They are terrified of that ghost. I can't do anything. I don't know how to deal with it. Nope. I don't think I can just delete like Ned and then get like another star. Oh, I can actually. There we go. Reject. Reject. So I gotta wait 19 days. 19 days for a new applicant. Wonderful. Just great. Uh, Doctor. As much as I want to hire another doctor, I'm just going to wait. Right, how are you doing? 91%. I like that. That's good odds. Um, with also, you can upgrade machines. So the Deluxe can be upgraded. Uh, same with the drug machine as well. I think that can be upgraded as well. Eventually. Not at the moment. Let's see what happens. See, it's, once it gets down to that 50%, it stops working. I believe the upgrade also slows that down as well. Please work, please. 91% is massive. Humongous. Generate that head. Go on. Do it. Please work. Is it done? Is he alive? It is done. Yes! We have unlocked a poster. Whoop. <laughs> a bonus and kudos of 100. Not bad. Also, we have unlocked the next hospital very cool that is very nice uh, to get a two-star hospital we got a cure 25 patients and earn 200,000 and get the hospital to level six that's probably the hardest one to do also we have here a big fat leaderboard obviously not many people have the game yet because the game doesn't officially come out when I'm actually playing the game but look at that cure rate 92% that's me that's that's a that's a big number that's that's pretty good I like that we're doing all right and we won employer of the year dot of the year and nurse of the year yeah I don't have to show off but yeah I'm pretty good <laughs> right let's unlock some more bits and bobs uh I don't want to unlock Quite like the skeleton, but that's a lot of points. Um, nothing's really standing out at the moment, apart from that dog painting. <laughs> I'm not even joking right now. That is completely true. Uh, I quite like the telephone. Not telephone. Yeah, telephone and clock. Yeah. Let's go for those two. So the clock will go in the GP office, right in the middle. And right up there as well. And the telephones will be sort of just around the entrance, really. Done. It's all going very well so far. I am very chuffed. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys want to see more, I can go to the next hospital or try and get two stars. It's up to you. But for now, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.